shot. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Watch out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him know. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. victims.
The environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the cure, then reactivate the fans. Ah, you don't come here! We shut down machines! Break fans! Everyone choke and die! Then collectors make us strong! What do the collectors want? Collectors want plague! You work for doctor! Turn on machines! Put cure in air! We kill you first! Ah! Reactivate the fans. <clears throat> One last.
both fans are online. Morden should be pleased. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you in the Normandy. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. The Collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out, no signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the Collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. We're going to need a lab. There's a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solas. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor.
Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Let me know if upgrades seem feasible. Can install them whenever you like. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers. Brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. Shepard, the tank you recovered from Corliss indicates stable Krogan life signs inside. It is in the cargo bay, should you wish to investigate. With something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? 
There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Hey, tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? If we go into combat together, we should know more about each other. If you say so. I'm not used to being on a team. It's all touchy-feely. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. Could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. Tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <laughs> right. They helped me into their bed, and when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go. But we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? I just want to know more about you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Later, Shepard. Shit! We're going to make those dirty buggers pay! Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jessie. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Jack, Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. might be useful. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What, can what kinds I of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged part. With pride, my prices are... I have things are to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy... I might have something here for you. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. The attack on the human colony of freedom's progress. Big selection of illegal shit. You could thrive here if you're strong and ruthless. I like it. door VIP section of the club for those with the right name do you want something I'd like to join the party this really isn't your kind of place afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. 
Tech Gavorn, we know him tricks. We not care anyone today. I'll just be going. Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's box get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. Excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror. You drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. I have things to do. Courteously. Have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy. you spoke to Harrod. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. 1,000 credits. Get out of here. I... thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again.
I heard you were dead. I had a party and everything. <laughs> no hard feelings, though, huh? No, really. Thanks for taking the time to chase a small-time crook off the Citadel so I could squat in this shithole for years. And if you leave the straight and narrow, I'll be there to follow up. Right, right, because you don't have planets to save and bigger shit like that. Nothing better to do than keep me down. Goddamn saviors of the galaxy. Messing with a man's living. Shepard, are you all right? What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. <laughs> 